filming the interaction. Go ahead and do your business. What do you need? I want to know why you guys are filming. I don't care what you want to know. It doesn't matter to me that you want to know. All right. Well, you guys can film all you want to, like I we said. We already know that. As long as you're and not we, are, we don't need your permission. Hey, sir. We already know it. Just mind your, just do your job. As long and as you're it. not on the street, like I said, with your, the guy in the street. Sir, we're not, we're not obstructing you. Anymore. Do your job. Look at first of all, you're the only one in the parking street without the lights, okay? It's dangerous. You're the only oh. one causing any, any dangerous thing here. I mean, come on, man. I had no idea. What's up, boss? You doing good? Yeah. Huh? Are you doing good? Yeah, what's your name? What's your name, guys? Salgado. Salgado. I work for the West Hollywood Sheriff's Station. Salgado? Salgado. Salgado. What's your badge number? Yes. What's your badge number? I don't have to provide that to you. Yes, you do. Shit. What's, your, what's your name? It's your department policy. Do you have a badge number? Serial numbers actually. Hold on. Don't get on camera. Don't get on camera. Look, he could have easily managed his own business. He's handling you. You should be talking to him and telling him to do his job, okay? Don't talk to me, man. Hey, Kim, you have a badge number? I don't mean to be rude, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 3843. 3843? 3843, thank you. See, I'm not trying to be rude. He's just asking me questions yeah, and stuff no, like that. Uh, so I guess the door got hit. We just know every police interaction. Just make sure that no one's rights are infringed upon. But his door just you got You guys all agree you guys aren't involved in no, the... No, crowd. no. We're no, not involved no. with the call at all. But the cop came in and talked to us, told us to back up, get off the street and stuff, which... I mean, he, he didn't even have his lights on until right now, so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he... His, our safety is not his concern, you know? We're just here, here recording so that way this guy doesn't get his rights. Yeah. You always see videos where... What are you guys up to today? Uh, nothing much. Just chilling. How about you? Working? Hot today. So he called you over here because of the camera guys? No, well actually, uh, I guess there was a traffic collision and we're the both, we're both of the units that are on the phone. Oh, yeah. I thought, he, I thought he was going to ask you to bring him a pillow so you can cry on it. Oh, yeah. I thought maybe he wanted you to come give him a hug for comfort. This protocol is just, you know, for officer safety purposes. Better to have at least two, you know? Hey, bro, you know about officer safety, right? It's just another form of cowardice. Public safety is heroism. Well, at the same time, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Oh, come on. Wouldn't man. you rather be with somebody else than by yourself? What does or that mean? So just in general, right? Bro, you took the job to protect the public, not yeah, to protect course, yourself and your partner, bro. No, Come you on. do both. Like you, you're not you going to convince me otherwise. Well, you have to do both. No, and like no, I said, no, we were no, both. No, 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 no. We were both the units that were assigned to this call. That whole, that whole officer safety, <laughs> that shit's got to stop, bro. I, I'm calling you on that well, right now. Think about I'm, it from my I, shoes, I'm or from my perspective. Bro, I have. I'm a veteran, man. I'm a veteran, so I know. For a fact, the officer safety isn't a thing. Thank you, you just, for your service. thank you, but to be honest, officer safety is actually cowardice because the public is what you guys are supposed to be protecting in the first place. So if you were in my shoes, on the job, if you I was prefer a worker, to do things by yourself. Hey, let me let me tell you this, Kim. We employ you to protect the public. Protection of the public is what we pay you for. Your safety is not what we pay you for. Obviously, you want to be safe, and I get that. That should come from the way you interact with the people. It should be, always be a de-escalation, right? But we don't pay necessarily for your safety. We pay for protection. There's things so in place whenever, for your safety. Wait, wait, wait. So whenever you put your safety over our protection, that's where you go wrong. Well, I'm just saying. Sir, you know? Can you can you agree with that at least? No, well, that's completely understood. But okay. at the same time, I mean, wouldn't you look out for yourself first? And then of course, if else? I was a cop, yeah. but I didn't sign up to be a cop, man. But that's you, the thing. You took a job, bro, to, to, to do a job for heroism to protect the public. When you guys talk about officer safety, to me, it's another form of cowardice. It's, it's so that you guys can get away with things and, 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 and do things and get away with it. Like, there's a lot of things that I understand. I could blow your mind, bro. Qualified immunity, internal investigations, police unions. All these things got to go, bro. It protects you guys and it makes you guys behave the way you guys do. Like if you're afraid of the people. You guys are the ones with the us versus them mentality. Not the people, bro. I didn't even say nothing to this guy and he had an attitude right I'm away. A, I'm, a civilian, demanded, I'm a civilian, right? Oh, hold on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to this guy right now. Don't but I want to ask you a question. Okay, okay, give me a second, okay. though. Don't be rude. Um, so, this guy right away starts almost demanding to know what we're doing and why we're doing it, bro. First of all, man, that's not how you approach the public. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And then, you want to, you wanna, not you, but this guy wants to be rude, approach me in a certain way, and then you're gonna come in and talk about officer safety? Hold on a minute, bro. I came in here, I'm, I, I plan to give everybody the same respect, right? Because first and foremost, I consider you and I look at you as a man. 
first, you guys probably don't get that a lot, okay? People call you names out of this and shit. I'll call you a man for the drug. Once you guys start acting up. Depends where we are and where you're at. Yeah, when you guys start acting up and using these things to, to bully people, you know, Terry vs. I just found out today a lot more than I have known before, bro. At least the education process for me. I'm learning how bad Terry vs. Ohio has been systematically screwing the people for years. Something maybe you should go home. And, let me ask you a important question. Go home and look at that, bro. Let me ask you a important question. Can you state the First Amendment verbatim? The right of people or person or person or persons uh, to be secure the person's property. That's the Fourth Amendment. What is the First, first? Amendment? I gotta look at my notes. You see what I'm saying? Check this out, bro. I can't oh, memorize okay, it. But let me explain. It's the first one. That's the first law of the land, bro. Okay? It's, it's our human rights. The First Amendment of the Constitution was written to protect our human rights. How is this a sustainable system, bro, for police officers to be out there enforcing feelings because you're not enforcing law? Because you don't know the first law of the land. We're human beings. So okay, we all that's fine and dandy, bro, but you took a job, and that job entails you to know these things, to be able to state the public. How are you not going to violate somebody? And I'm not talking about you personally. I'm yeah. talking about your job and, and in, what it entails. How do you know you're not going to violate that person's rights if you don't even know that person's rights, bro? And the sad part is, our kids are not even being taught the First Amendment, how to state of verbatim, how important that is, bro. This, this is an unsustainable system. You, you, you and I both know how personally didn't create it, I personally didn't create it, but you signed on. Yeah. And now it's it's on, it's upon you, bro. Like don't all this whole officer safety and all this nonsense gotta stop, bro. Start understanding the people. Why we employ you, why, what your job really entails is to protect the public, bro, protect the people. You get public you get here and give this guy no kind of attitude, bro. You also get publicly funded equipment for officer safety, like your body vest and stuff like that. You have the weapon. You're the one that has the tools to keep yourself safe. Does that make sense? And, and you've been respectful, Kim, so I don't think that we've been disrespectful to you. No, yeah. Um, whenever officers approach us like that, th that's where you I see wasn't the I here for, for I mean, that's understood. Where you see the interactions, though, where there's a lot of confusion, man. And in reality, we don't want to have to grill this officer, but if, if he's coming at us and, and uh, leaving his call, which is his job, then he's not even doing his job. And what are we paying him for? Right. If that's the case, you know? We know. We know our What safety. were the circumstances involved anyway? So basically, we use, we were standing right here, and he's asking us why we're filming. In reality, he doesn't need to know why we're filming. That's we're you guys not are filming the him, or we're filming the else? interaction that happened. So someone's oh, car you got, got hit. Yeah. I'm investigating just like my camera is. You know, someone's car got hit. We want to know what happened, just like the cop did. So we're gonna record it and find out what happened. Make sure also the guy's rights aren't infringed upon. The yep. officer's not hurt in the process. What if his cam his body cam is on off? You know, it's oftentimes that they're off during calls. Or they end up going missing before requesting, you know? But in reality, we want to document just in case everyone, you know, we want everyone to stay safe. Is the body cam on right now? Look, man, in reality, like, uh, we wouldn't have even probably talked to you. We probably would have just said, hey, what's your name and badge number? How you doing today? Have a nice day, man. That's probably would have been all it. But this guy, like, in reality, now you're getting spewed because of this guy over here being acting the way he is bro and in reality maybe yeah, you could talk I didn't to him see it, but... you know i know i know that's that's always the whole thing i didn't see it you will see this yeah. believe me you will see it and when you do <clears throat> maybe you can talk to him and say hey like people have a right to record it public bro the first amendment i mean we all know i, I check this out okay this is what i do very well i, I go out and i try to teach the first amendment to officers and the people okay um, the first amendment i'm going to help you so you never forget it again bro it's going to make your job a lot easier and you're gonna do your job better, I promise you, okay? Freedom of the press, right? Freedom of speech. I can say what I want, I can call you an asshole, a motherfucker, whatever. I'm not saying that, I'm not calling you that, but I could, if I wanted to. Freedom of religion. Freedom of religion. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of press, freedom to assemble. Okay, if you knew my First Amendment rights that I'm just speaking, you wouldn't have even asked me what I was doing, bro. You would have respected my right to the court. You wouldn't have even asked me. And he wouldn't have got the spew that you deserve. Uh -huh. He wouldn't have got the spew that you deserve. All right, well, you have a good day, guys. Yeah, I'm mean, already having hey, one. Hey, Kim, you have a you good day, care. man. Take care, Kim. Have and a good one, Kim. And part of your policy to state your badge number as well, man. Do you want to stay? Do you want a fresh start and just give me a badge number? Park right next time, buddy. Why don't you learn how to park? Go back.